scientist um, with an interest in data visualization, and I'm working for a San Francisco startup called Kelvin, um, and we're working on control optimizations. Now, I am a lapped scientist. So I started programming when I was in grad school and a postdoc, and if any of you come from that background, one of the issues that I had was I had you know, I read a lot of PDFs. So here's a PDF of one of my articles. And um, towards the end of my postdoc, and I was, as I was transitioning out of being a modeler, I learned a ton of JavaScript, a lot of um, front-end development. And I sort of looked at my process of reading PDFs, and I thought, there must be a better way to, um, you know, a better way of presenting the information here. It's PDF, classic PDF is a wall of text, in this case, two columns, isolated figures, text refers to figures, and you often flip back to tables at the end with references. And this relates to um, a previous speaker, Alex, who was talking about how diagrams are really important and images are here, but it's also the link between images and, uh, and, and text. Now this is a problem I was thinking a lot about, and um, obviously journals were starting to realize that if you use HTML, you can solve some of the problems. For instance, this is my same article in text form, and now you have an introductory um, table of contents on the end. So I thought, let's go to the next level. So what I did was I read a JavaScript plugin that can take an article, and I'll show you the results of applying that to this um, article now. It will take that article, reformat it, strip out the main text and put it in the middle. All right, and, and also have this kind of nice heading thing, which I quite find quite useful, context-dependent header that you can go back and forth in. But more importantly, I've stripped out all the figures and put them into a third column, so it's an independent column. Not only that, um, I've got backlinks to where the figures appear in the text. So if I was to click here, it will show me where in the text it refers to that figure. Um, similarly, if you scroll through the main text, and you come to a particular figure, let's see, it's working, uh, uh, let's see if that's working, well, mm -hmm. let's see, I'll find a figure, oh, that's, that's a, here's a reference, and I click on that, it will automatically take me to a figure. So for me, this is a way of solving the problem of when I'm reading an article, I'll be reading an article and I want to know the reference, I see it straight away, if I want to have a figure, there it is, it's straight away. Now, obviously, this, um, setting this up, you don't want to be a programmer. So one of the first things I did was um, I, wrote, um, I wrote the plugin and I wrote um, a compiler that takes a markdown and just converts it straight into an article like that. So finally, I just want to show you um, this. Um, I've got the project now at this um, website on GitHub. I'm going to call it Sub and Scroll. Um, if you want to talk to me about it, please come and approach me. I'm going to show you how it works. And of course, the super um, the sub and scroll readme. I've redone it in this integrated text format, which is actually pretty good for looking, comparing code 